I'm Eddie Parker and welcome to a brand new episode of Gulf Coastal Connections. Today we are in the Manchac Swamp just 27 miles from downtown New Orleans and we are going on a Cajun Pride Swamp Tour. Cajun Pride owns their own private wildlife refuge where there is no fishing or hunting. These animals are used to seeing the Cajun Pride tour boats so they are not afraid of them and that allows us, the visitor, to get to see them up close during the entire tour. They have their own shuttle buses that service most hotels in New Orleans, Metro, and Kenner. We drove ourselves, which is another option. They also offer plantation tours in combination of swamps and plantation tours. They have a gift shop where they sell bug spray and water amongst other items. They have a covered area to wait for your tour. Here, they have baby alligators on display. These boats are comfortable, clean, and safe, allowing them to tour rain or shine. The tour hadn't even started and we started seeing gators around the boat. This place is full of alligators. Our captain got us quickly underway. Again, we are on Cajun Pride's privately owned land in Manchac Swamp, which is a wetlands just to the northwest of New Orleans. Our captain was friendly, well informed, and gave us all the basic lowdown on all things alligator. Let's say about 11 or 12 inches right there. Yeah. All right, so it's about 11 or 12 inches. This alligator was close to about 11 to 12 foot long. All right, so every inch is about a foot. So you look at these alligators out here, most of them are going to have about five to six inches from in between. In between the nostrils, in between the nostrils. When the boat stopped, the gator started to show up. Then the captain surprised us all by jumping out on a platform to feed them. Now I would never recommend feeding wild alligators as they come to associate humans with food. But once again, this area is Cajun Pride's own wildlife refuge and these gators never leave the area. So they should have very limited contact with humans not on the tour. The first to arrive were mid-sized gators, but the big boys soon showed up. Was that him? <laughs> Come 
After that, we got underway again with gators tagging along with the boat every inch of the way. Next stop, raccoons, and we saw plenty of them. Raccoons are omnivores and mostly nocturnal, but will adapt to their food source. These raccoons keep Cajun pride office hours. Oh, yeah. Marshmallows and corn. Yeah, yeah. That's all I got. Just for you right here. Hold on. Raccoons just love corn. Back underway again. We passed the Freenear Cemetery on September 29, 1915. A Category 4 hurricane hit the Louisiana coast and destroyed the small lumber town of Freenear. It's estimated 300 people lost their lives during the storm, and they are buried here in a mass grave. Cajun Pride owns this land, so it is protected from vandalism. We stop next to check out some more raccoons, but they are joined by a very unwelcome dinner guest. Alligators will eat anything that don't eat them first, including raccoons, making them the top predator in their environment. of escaped domestic pigs and Eurasian wild boars introduced in the 1900s for hunting. Bad-tempered, unpredictable, and will attack without provocation. It is one of the most dangerous species in North America. Feral hogs are one of the most reproductively efficient large animals on Earth. They can adapt and survive in nearly any environment. 70 to 75 percent of the total population must be harvested to control that population. In Louisiana, hunters are only harvesting less than that. They are found in every parish in the state. It's estimated that Louisiana has 700,000 to 900,000 feral hogs in the state. They are an invasive species that can outcompete native species and destroy habitat. Their canine teeth grow throughout their lives. These are also called tusks. They are three inches long and razor sharp and odor bores. They have few natural predators, but large alligators are one of them. Thank you. 
We got underway again and found baby alligator. Alligator comes from the Spanish word el orgato, or big lizard. They grow a foot a year for the first five to six years, then just inches after that but they continue to grow their entire life cycle. Every time the boat stopped, gators would appear. captain showed us a baby alligator from their own stock. He allowed all those who wanted to to handle them, but he made sure it was with the utmost care. Hey, look at that. Come on, open him up. Open him up. There you go. Look at that. Put your finger in there. Yeah, go ahead. Put your finger in there. Alright. So, little Jimmy is whenever going to be about a year old. He's just a baby right here. Alright. Whenever little Jimmy gets to be about four foot long, he's gonna go back into the wild. <laughs> but in the meantime, I gotta raise little Jimmy to be a man. Right? So I like to feed him crawfish, the minnows, the perch, and chicken every single night. You see the big belly he got on him right That's there? Why they yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right. There's no air conditioning yeah. here. So besides that, care care little, and the reason I like to keep him on natural good diet like that, because whenever I release him back into the wild, he's not just looking for the things that's not out there. He's not looking for sonic rallies. He's looking for the good stuff. He's looking for windage. <laughs> All right, so besides that, would you like to hold this little down one? See how this gator uses his tail to propel his body through the water. nest in large trees close to the water's edge and huge colonies. 
Baby herons frequently fall out of the nest and are eaten by alligators. But one of the major predators of hatchling alligators are the great blue heron. The tour lasted around an hour and a half to two hours, and it was a great tour. I highly recommend Cajun Pride Swamp Tours. We had so much fun. And of course, as soon as the boat stopped and docked, the gators started to appear again. So we saw alligators from the very first to the very last. Well, thank you so much for watching this episode on Cajun Pride Swamp Tour. Please hit that like button, subscribe, do all the other YouTube stuff. And until next time, please be safe and join us again on Gulf Coastal Connections.